You know, I was a little disappointed that Disney didn't have an early screening here in Vancouver for Frozen 2, but then I realized that Anna and Elsa and Olaf and the rest of the cast of Frozen are such a huge part of my family that it was going to be great to see Frozen 2 with my wife and daughter and be completely lost in, you know, what I presumed, rightly so, was going to be a brand new magical tale in this universe. Oh! oh. We all kind of got it. This is a very different story than the first Frozen film. It is not as light and bubbly with, you know, as memorably melodic music as the first film delivered. This is a movie that's a little darker and it examines some heavy stuff about maturing and growing older and fading away and digging into your history and into your roots. There's a story and a message in here about not being frozen in time and to claim your destiny and to kind of fulfill your potential. There's also a moment in this movie where Olaf basically stops mid-song and looks at the camera and looks out at us and says we've all grown older and it was an effective little piece of cinema oh how i wish this could last forever mm. we're trying to figure out the mystery of who anna and elsa's parents are and of course the resonance of their disappearance echoes all the way through this movie Kristoff and anna are trying to further cement their relationship i'm not very comfortable with the idea of that yes i did well up several times through the story, you know, this reconnection with characters that, I don't know how it is in your family, but you know, I've got a seven-year-old, so Frozen has been this permanent thing in our world for a long time. But that reconnection with these characters is just so heartwarming, and it's so effective, and they're all so expertly performed, especially, I love Anna and Elsa, they're wonderful, but Olaf is just such a marvelous creation, and Josh Gad has to be given special commendation, because he's just he's a, a, the one, a wonderful choice for the voice performance here, but the script is great, and he adds such an undercurrent of levity and poking fun at everything. There's a couple sequences in here where he recounts vast chunks of the frozen tale, and it reminded me of C-3PO talking to the Ewoks about what happened in the Star Wars mythology. It was really, really cute and really clever. Excuse me, I climbed the North Mountain, survived a frozen heart, and saved you from my ex-boyfriend, and I did it all without powers. So, you know, I'm coming. Me too. I'll drive. I'll bring the snacks! It was a great movie. It was a very good movie. It was maybe less satisfying as a musical movie. I was dismayed that I didn't walk out of the movie theater humming any of the tunes. I can't remember any of the lyrics. I can't remember the melodies. But there's also a moment within this film where they realize that you, maybe we got under people's skin a little bit too much with that first film and maybe we don't need to hear Let It Go Again. And it, it, I, I thought that was such a great breaking the fourth wall moment within this picture. It really felt like this movie was made to kind of build a future Broadway show. You know, it really felt like a massive sort of staged musical. And that meant that there was a real focus on creating beautiful, elaborate and intricate sequences with incredible special effects. One of them just completely took my breath away where Elsa, you've probably seen this in the trailers where Elsa's running into the water and then she meets this elemental spirit in the water and I don't want to spoil it because it's such a, it was so powerful and so beautifully rendered. I was just completely, I was, took my breath away. It was really, really stunning work. I feel like this is maybe a little bit like the Empire Strikes Back of a potential Frozen trilogy. We all know the box office has been incredible already, so presumably a new film will be made and hopefully we don't have to wait quite so long for a Frozen 3. But Frozen 2 is a beautiful movie. It definitely embellishes and adds to the Frozen mythology in some wonderful ways. And if you've had any kind of appreciation for the first film, I think you're really going to enjoy this one too. I'm going to give Frozen 2 an 8.5 out of 10.